before I go into the teaching, preaching, I just discovered that many times we come here to preach. Someone will stand here and will preach for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then all of us, we are listening. Is that correct? Eh? But very few times do we get feedback from you. So today I want us to do a little bit of revision. I'm going to ask some questions. It's not every time that only this side will be talking. The pastor, the preacher. Let the congregation also talk. How many of us are ready to talk? If you are ready to talk, let me see your hand. Okay. So I want to ask question now. If you have the answer, don't say it. Don't shout it. You just raise your hand. So what has been our topic since the beginning of this month? Raise your hand if you know. Waiting with the topic. Where will the treat since? Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. The topic we have since the beginning. It is when I started this work I know of. Just tell us the topic because of time. The, the topic is self righteousness. Thank you. You try. God bless you. Thank you. Let's put our hands together for him. He tried. I like that. Who wants to help him try more? What has been the topic we have been treating? Waiting with the topic. When will they treat sins? You want to try? Oh, yeah. Two ways to sin. Righteousness and unrighteousness. Wow. Okay. You still try. Well, let's put our hands together for him. Who wants to try 100% now? I don't want quiet. You the sin. Somebody from the congregation, from this side. You see him now. The, the, the topic, they try. But just... 100%. I need somebody 100%. I know that. I know that you talk. So I want him. The topic we are treating is where are you in your Christian journey? See, try. That's the general topic. But I will, I'm talking of this month. So, yeah. okay. At this, ah, this man, the ginger. <laughs> so, I would have, I will still call you. So, wait for the topic that we'll be treating. Oh, yeah. Two ways to sin. Righteousness. And save. Please put your hands together for him. Very correct. I love that. Hundred percent. Everybody tried. Two ways to sin. Number one is what unrighteousness, and number two is what self righteousness. Then we have been looking at a scripture. The scripture is taken from Luke chapter what? Who can help me? Oh, it's a person. You want carry first? Ah. Okay, don't worry. Oh yeah. Luke 18, 9, 14. Is that correct? Please put your hands together for him. Now, in that Luke 18, 9, from 9 downwards, there's a story of two people. What are the two people called in that story? The first one is called what? I don't know if you have not talked before. The first one is called the publican. And the second one is called the Pharisee. Let's put our hands together for him. So that shows that we are following. Now, we said unrighteousness and self-righteousness. So of the two now, which one be the unrighteous one? And which one be the self-righteous one? Who can try? You say, wait now. Ah, okay. I, I want somebody that not talk before. Which one be the unrighteous one? And then which one be the self-righteous one? On our boots or how? How is it? Pharisees is the um, self-righteousness, why the podcast is the righteousness. Okay, let's answer for him. He said the Pharisee is the self-righteousness because he boasts to God, I mean. And then the publican, he said, is the unrighteous. Yes, that's true. In fact, both of them were actually unrighteous. But the one that was really self-righteous was the, was the who? Pharisee. Good now. Before we go into the topic now, finally, who can tell me one thing that you heard since the beginning of the thing that has touched you when you feisty remember? Say this thing, I, I learned this thing for during this time. Somebody climbed outside, preach. The thing touched me. It can life. Can you raise your hand? One word when they talk for the altar that the thing, you hear the thing, you remember the thing, you can't, you can't change your life. Anybody? Okay, thank, uh, I want somebody that has not talked before. Anybody? Uh -huh. I, thank you for raising your hand. 
Ishat, it made me to not be proud. It made me to not be proud, in short, in public. That's good. It made him to not be proud. Let's clap for him. The last, last, last one. One more person. One thing that you have learned since this topic began on righteousness and self-righteousness. I'll point to you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. That's good. Made me love everybody. I love that. Made him to love everybody. Please, let's clap for him. So, let's open to that scripture again this morning as we just look at a few more things. Luke chapter 18 from verse 9 downward. Luke chapter 18 from verse 9 downward. Luke chapter 18 from verse 9. And he spake the parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week, I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican, standing afar off, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbled himself shall be what shall be shall be what shall be exalted you see we've been looking at these two people the problem of the pharisee we said the pharisee is the self-righteous one is that what we say eh is the self-righteous one the problem of the pharisee is that the pharisee get problem but you know no say get problem both of them get problem. Both the Pharisee and the publican. The problem was was seen. But one of them in knowing problem. And if you know your problem, it's half solved. Abby. If you know say you get problem, it's already you're already on your way to having the problem solved. But if you don't even know that you have a problem, that one is a problem. <laughs> Praise the Lord. If you don't know say you get problem, that one is a bigger problem. But if you know say I get problem, man, and this is my problem, better for you. Your problem is half solved. You can seek help. The problem with the Pharisee. Uh, is that he get problem, but he no agree, say he get problem. How can you help somebody that doesn't agree that he has a problem? It's like saying, uh, bros, he uh, get waiting with notice for your body, the thing, uh, you know, it's not good. And they say, no, no, I do okay, I do all right. That kind of thing can kill. The Pharisee was in need of help, and he could not get help because he believed, say, everything they all right. And that is the spirit of self-righteousness. The spirit of self-righteousness, look at yourself and say, I'm okay. Everything is fine. But in fact, everything is not fine. And you know, God loves us very much. God has the intention of helping us. He has the intention of coming to our rescue. But before God can rescue you, Roland, before he can rescue you, you need to acknowledge that you need to be rescued. Do we understand? Waiting be rescued. Rescue not to help, Abby. But God, now one kind of person, when he say, if you know Chris say you need help, he will not help you. That's why that song is good. He said, there's something that makes me come into your presence. My helper. And all of us need help. Look at this. You know, say, assuming now you have been working in farm under the sun as a group person, eh? you will come the test for water. Say you won't drink water, Abby. You'll be testing for water. That kind of person, and another person, when he be say, he just finished drinking water, which one will value water more? Who go value water more? The one when he be say they walk, he never drink water for outside. So they beat him. And the one when they inside this place, he sit down. Water, they just finish drinking water. Which one will value water more? The one that is testing. And that's the same thing with God. Eh? God, you can only value God when you need help. If you don't need help, you can never see. God has been important. And that was the problem of the Pharisee. He knows he said he needs God. He feels that everything is alright. 
Now check yourself this morning. Do you value God? Do you value yourself as you need help? Matthew 5 verse 1. Matthew 5 verse 1. That was when Jesus gave the first message when Jesus preached. You know what he talked? The first message. Say, this is my manifesto for human beings. Matthew chapter 5 verse 1. Can somebody read for us? Sorry, sir. Let me, okay, Mike. Matthew chapter 5 from verse 1. Yes. And seeing the multitude, he went up into a mountain, and when he was set, his disciple came unto him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. He said, blessed are the poor. So if it means that if you, when Jesus Christ came and he stood before the people, the crowd, and you are rich, which benefit does Jesus have for you? Do you understand? If you are rich, that means Jesus, uh, I don't really need you. But if you are poor in spirit, he said you are blessed because I came for the what? For the poor. Are you seeing the thing? The, the way the thing works? Jesus said, I'm blessed are you if you are hungry. Eh? Blessed are those that hunger and thirst for what? Righteousness. I came to deliver righteousness. Blessed are you if you are thirsty because I am the water of life. Blessed are those that thirst. Did he say that too? The hunger and thirst for righteousness. Blessed are you if you are crying, if you are mourning. Jesus said, I'm for you. That is God for you. God is looking for people that are hungry. God is looking for people that are what? Number two. Thirsty. God is looking for people that are what? Number three. Eh? Poor. God is looking for people that are what? Eh? Eh? Who what? Submit yourself. No, but uh, yes, fine. But I want from that scripture. Blessed. Blessed are the what again? Meek. He's looking for people that are meek. Blessed are the what again? Eh? Peacemaker. Blessed are the what again? Eh? Speak. Hunger and test for righteousness. Are you seeing all these things? All these things are people that are needy. They are what? Needy. They need help. If you need help, God is saying, I'm for you. Praise the Lord. That is why it is, was the blind man, that blind man, Bartimaeus. Jesus was walking in Jerusalem. One blind man now sat at the corner. He said, Jesus, I beg, oh, son of I beg, have mercy on me. The Bible said, Jesus stand. He said, who be that? He called him son of David. Have mercy on me. He now said, call that guy. If you are here, you are a sinner. Eh? You don't commit sin before and you need help. Jesus said, I'm for you. That is why Jesus get problem with Pharisees. You know why? They believe say they do all right. But they do all right in the real sense. Were they okay? Everybody has sinned. The Bible said in Psalms 147, I believe. He said, if God is to mark iniquity, who will stand? But there is forgiveness with you so that you may be feared. I want us to open that scripture, Psalms 147. If I'm correct. Is it, is it 130? 130. Okay, Psalm 130, please. He said, if you were to mark iniquity, who would? Okay, it's 147 verse 10. Psalm 147 verse 10. Psalms 147 verse 10. Psalms 147 verse 10. Can we read? Yes. Okay. Verse 11. Verse 11. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him. Yes. In those that hope in his mercy. That hope in his mercies. Praise the Lord. 
He said, if you have strength, God doesn't, if you have strength, God is not impressed with your strength. Say so they treat God. Say, hey, this guy, they try. But the Bible said that he delights, he likes people that they need help. And that is why Jesus has come to be the helper of the helpless. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus is the what? Helper of the helpless. So if you need help today, Jesus is saying, I am for you. There was a woman that was caught in adultery. They caught her, she commits the fornication like this. The man quickly, to the, where he was, he took off. But the woman, she could not because many things to wear now. So they just nab her and brought her before Jesus and said, Jesus, you say you say you be a good person. The Pharisees, you say you be a good person now. See this woman now. She has committed uh, fornication. Moses tell us, say, if this kind of person commit fornication, wait him be the point. Stone her to death. And different kind of stone day that day. Big one, small one. And they, the stone, the Bible, they, look, they already carry the stone already in their hand. And Jesus now do it in. If I say yes, this people won't trap me. If I say no, nasty trap. You know what you do? What do you do? Eh? No, 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 no. Before you do that one, you do something. You do it. He bend, he bend like this. He can't the right. He now rise up. He said, no, he said, if, if you know, say you are here, you have not sinned, use your own stone, throw your stone. The Bible said that one, one of them, starting from the oldest to the youngest, their conscience can't they pick them, say, I guess you know. They drop the stone, they drop the stone, they drop the stone. Only the woman can't remain. Jesus now, look up. Ah, he said, okay, where, where are they now? Where are the people? Nobody. He said, okay, nobody, oh, nobody. He said, eh, me too, I don't condemn you. Go and sin no more. You see, that kind of woman now, it go take easy for her to sin next time. They won't stone her just now, just now, just now, eh, see that. You know, when they catch arm robber, they can't put tire for the head. You know, that kind of person, eh, if they, mercifully, they can't say, okay, they deliver them. You go, they easy to go back into sin. No. I remember you were giving a story that I don't, I, I don't remember so if you can remind us that the, the, you were caught almost caught for something like um, was it something like malpractice or something do you remember that please tell us share us share with us there we asked me so normally I had us to do my practice for schools and pursue them so they told us, they picked five of us from Huawei to go to Unibet. On our way, the person had called me, if you go, you will not come back. So I said, a distraction. The money big. There was, they said, it kind of was 50,000. So I have two guys on there, cannot plan the budget. So I was going, I wanted to go. So they said, leave her now. So I did not go. The, the rest four of them, us that went, they caught all of us. Even one was a medical student. And they told me you cannot study medicine again in the uni band. So I told myself, ah, I will not do it again. But actually, after some time, I went back. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Eh? That kind of thing now. Imagine they caught you for something. They now kill other people. Bo, bo, bo. Only you can't escape. Will it be easy for you to go back? No. And that is what Jesus is saying here. He's saying that in case they catch you, you are a sinner. If they do a court, for example, now somebody can be here now. If they do all those witchcraft things, if they do have steady, they do all those shrine things, all those juju things. Jesus is saying that I am here now. You need help. All you need to do is ask me for help. Don't say you are okay. It is somebody that cry for help that can be helped. And what God is waiting for is cry for help. When you just cry for help, Jesus, something David, see what I mean? Jesus said. You just say, yes, yes, I'm here for you. You know, picking when they're just born. When a child is born, eh, the, there's, and she they breastfeed. Do you know that it gets some women, eh, when the picking, only the picking, eh, the cry of the picking, as the picking, they cry. The breast, they'll call the heavy. True or false? Go, they produce milk. Is it true or false? The mama's when they hear now. If they hear picking, they cry. Yeah, yeah. And they breast, now nah, you're picking. Milk, go, they come naturally. Praise the Lord. Am I telling the truth? Not truth I talk. The same thing with God. When you are crying to God, God, 
help me. Only that cry alone could they stimulate something for inside God. Say, my beginning need help. But the problem of the self person is that he cannot cry. He cannot do anything. He cannot cry. And God is saying that if you can cry, if you can say, Jesus, please help me. This fornication is too much. Please help me. Say I am ready to help you. There is grace available for you. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. So, self-righteousness said, I'm okay. I can help myself. And when you can help yourself, God cannot help you. But when you cannot help yourself, God is ready to, is ready to what? And God will help us in Jesus' name. All you need to do is to cry. All you need to do is to do what? Is to what? And that is what that publican did. He said, the Bible said that he said, Oh God, he beat the chest. He said, God, I beg, have mercy on me. Did he receive mercy that day? Did he receive mercy? The Bible said he went home justified. Justified means to be made righteous. By simply asking for help, he was made righteous. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. We have examples of people that also cried for help. Apart from that publican. Eh? The publican cried for help. There's another woman in the Bible. The Bible said that she was a notorious prostitute. You get a shower for this place. For somebody. A shower day. You know the only echo. You get for echo. So for this poor somebody, no one I shall walk. Talk truth. You know they that's good though. If you know, <laughs> praise the Lord. Okay, okay, okay. Now you know they for this side or for yonder for Eku side. He did. They get quarters. Good. Now listen to the story. Don't don't get distracted. Be here. One Ashawo. One in fact, eh, I went to preach one day. People give your life to Christ. I know you say Ashawo has say I enter and they preach normally. You get those they look like they give your life to Christ. Come inside now. Now that time I come cold. Ah, this I still preach my preach. <laughs> you must repent. Give your life to Christ. Anyway, the point is here. Luke chapter seven verse thirty six. One Ashawu woman came to Jesus. Jesus entered the house of one man, a Pharisee too. He sat down and he was eating. The Ashawu woman. She now came to Jesus. She called the Christ. Yeah, God, this Ashawu don't tire on me. Don't tire on me. They don't still stay here. God, I beg. So she now came to Jesus and started crying. And the cry was much. They should not use the cry to clean Jesus' leg. Can't use that her long, beautiful hair. All those hair, when men they touch anyhow, can't use the hair to clean Jesus' feet. You know the story? You know the story? Luke chapter 7. Let's, let's go there. Ah, God, no time. Luke chapter 7, verse 36. Luke 7, verse 36. Yes. Yes. And he went to go to the Pharisees' house yes. and sat down. Yes. Yes. And you know, the woman in the city which was a sinner. Wait, so a woman in the city which was a what? A sinner. Good. Go ahead. When she knew that Jesus sat and lived in the Pharisees' house, yes. brought an alabaster box of ointment. Well, hold on, no. that alabaster box and perfume. She buy that perfume. You know how she, she didn't get the money? And she was lying down on her back. That's how she got the money from men. You understand? Good. You can't use that one for Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And stood at the feet behind him. Yes. And yes. began to watch his feet. Yes. With tears. Yes. And he wiped them with her head. Yes. Of her head. Yes. And kissed his feet. Yes. And anointed them with the ointment. Yes. Now the Pharisees which had. Look at the Pharisee now. The Pharisee comes in face. Say, hey, God. Go ahead. Wait. Where did the Pharisee say this word? He said, the Bible said that the Pharisee spake within himself. Is that what you read? Yes. You, wait, wait. Is that not the same thing that this Pharisee did in publican? Publican and Pharisee. Where did he say it? Inside himself. So he has another self-righteous Pharisee. Go ahead. Mm. Who have known who and what manner of woman this is that subject is mm. for he for she is 
Wait, she is a sinner. She's a what? Is it true that she's a sinner? Talk true now. Is she a sinner? Good. But you know the problem? The problem is say, thank you, sir. The problem is say, the person when they call the person sinner, so Simon the leper, the Pharisee, he was also a sinner. Do you know why? Eh? Do you know why? The Bible said that his name was Simon the leper. The leper. What is leper? He leprosy. An unclean person. Now, it is either he had leprosy before and he was healed or he had it now. So he himself was not in the position to judge other people. Are you getting it? But this person that Jesus Christ came to Jesus was Ashamu. She called the cry. Jesus now said, Hey, your sins are forgiven. Your sins are what? They are what? So the message for us this morning is this. If you are a sinner, Jesus Christ is telling you that I want to forgive your sins. Just cry to me for mercy. Praise the Lord. That doesn't mean you should continue to sin. No. Otherwise, you are not a serious person. No, it means that there is mercy. There is grace available in the house for you to stop the sin. And all you need to do is cry. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Well, my message is up. <laughs> no, I still have a lot to say. Praise the Lord. Can we just close our eyes? And I want you to just cry to Jesus Christ now. Say, Lord, please, anything that you are still battling with, say, God, please have mercy on me. The only person that will not receive help is the person that will not cry. There is nobody that cry to Jesus and Jesus let him like that. Can you cry to God? Say, God, please, Jesus, whatever is my sin, search me, Lord. You know yourself. Say, Lord, please have mercy on me. You do the quick verse, in the course, anyhow. No, maybe not be fornication. Your own is hatred. Eh? Hatred, hatred, stubbornness is at the sin of witchcraft. Can you just ask God, have mercy on me? Have mercy on me. See on me. Maybe your own is pornography, lost. Nobody see that one. You just they do clean. There is help available this morning. All you need to do is cry. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. And God is releasing his mercy now. God is releasing his mercy. He's releasing his grace. For you to live above sin. Just cry to Jesus. Jesus is passing this way this morning. And in his hand is help. In his hand is rescue from that sin. He said, his name shall be called Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. The Savior is here. Savior is here. With your head still bad, I want you to just say this prayer with me. If you know you want help this morning. Say, Lord Jesus, I need help this morning. Like the publican, I cry to you. Rescue me. Deliver me from sin. Help me to live above sin. I trust in you for righteousness. I receive your gift of righteousness. And I receive the power to sin no more. In Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your word that has come this morning. We receive help. We receive mercy from you this morning in Jesus' name. For myself, for every one of us, Lord, that we are struggling with something. Please have mercy on us, son of David, in the name of Jesus. Give us the power to live above sin in Jesus' name. We pray for today. Today is blessed. Our director is blessed. Our families are blessed. The works of our hands are blessed. Nigeria is blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you for answering prayers. For in Jesus.